Right now I'm working on hooking up my switches, specifically the Avionics Master Switch right here. So uh, I went back and forth whether I should just use the switch by itself to power the Avionics uh, bus, which is gonna be this side of my fuses that go to the radio, the autopilot controller, autopilot servos, and um, ELT transponder stuff that doesn't come on with the master switch. What will come on with the master switch is gonna be everything that has, is connected to the backup battery, which is the screen, the Adahars, the magnetometer that comes on with the screen. Oh, the um, engine monitor. So all those come on with the master, but everyone has suggested that I go with a uh, avionics relay. So what I did is I got a Bosch relay and it's single throw um, double pull. So relays are all standard. Your power comes in at number 30. Um, number 87 is where your power output goes. And then 85 and 86 is how you switch the relay on and off by um, at this particular one, I'm gonna use the switch on the ground side. So positive is gonna have power and then I'll have my ground go to number 85 on the switch and it's gonna throw the relay. So currently the contact is on 87A and then when you throw the switch and give it ground, the contact goes to 87 and the 87A is G energized, but 87 is energized. And if you look on the bottom, you can see all of the quarter inch fast on tabs. So 87 at the top, 87A just below it. And then the vertical ones are 86, 85, and 30. So on this particular build, my switch will turn off the relay, therefore turning on the, the avionics. So that's how I'm accomplished it. So your power comes in here on 30. I have a pigtail coming off to give 86 power. That's where the relay 85 and 86 connect. It closes the relay and it switches to 87. But here 87A is constantly on. So that's gonna go to the avionics bus. So the difference is when my switch is off, it's gonna be connected to ground. Therefore opening the relay, so 87's energized, but 87A has no power to it. So if the relay, if the switch fails, it's gonna automatically fail to open or close. I mean, 87A will be closed and then basically you'll have power to the avionics bus if you lose your switch. So what happens is when no power is on it, the contacts closed at 87A. You switch on your master and that instantly grounds, puts power here, grounds your switch, and then it opens this 87A, so it's open contact. So when power is applied, 87A opens. And then when you turn on your master, that's when you take away, you open your ground up, so it takes away power, and then it closes, defaults to 87A, and then your avionics bus energizes. It's kind of a backwards way of doing it, but what it basically does is if this sits with nothing going into it, the connection's there. So you always have power to your avionics if it fails. I'm pretty sure if the relay fails, it goes to closed, and so you have power, and if the switch fails, obviously your ground disconnects, and then you have power to your avionics bus. So I just want to show what the switchology is doing the avionics master. So right now, master's off, avionics switch is off. So the avionics relay is closed on the 87A contact. So can see realistically if there's power applied to number the 30 contact, then it would go to your avionics. But since there's no power anywhere because the master's off, it doesn't. So upon switching the master on, this is grounded now because we just switched, switched the master on and it grounded this switch, therefore grounding the um, 
number 85 and 86 together, opening 87A. So now we have an open contact at the relay. No avionics are on. The good thing is, is if this switch fails, it's, it fails to open contact. It turns your, your avionics on so you don't lose your avionics. And then when you turn that, basically I, I installed a uh, single throw double pull switch. So I got it to the top. So that's ground. Both these, this one goes to your grounding bus. This one goes to uh, pin 85 on the relay. So that basically grounds it. Because I have it flipped up, this is open so there's no ground. So the normal um, default setting of that 87A tab is contacted with the 30. And so 30 power goes through 87A into my avionics bus. So, and then when you turn off your avionics, you push the switch down, that grounds the contact, therefore opening up the relay on 87A. Now the relay's open, avionics are off. And then you take the power away. The relay can defaults back to close, but obviously there's no power now, so avionics have no power, nothing has power, we're off. 